What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about the surprise details that already surfaced for MW3 Season 2, how Call of Duty revealed more than we expected already, plus even more, definitely stay tuned, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, there's plenty of brand new coverage that's going up over on Detonated.com, for those out there like myself who prefer articles over videos, and plenty of tweets every single hour of course on Detonated's Twitter. Now if you guys are wondering what's going on with the potential preload for Season 1 Reloaded, the update of course does go live on January 17th, which is tomorrow at the time of recording this, the preload should be popping up as of today for PlayStation and even Battle.net, then will become downloadable for Xbox and even Steam at some point tomorrow morning, shortly before the launch of the mid-season 1 update. I'll keep you guys posted with what's going on with the preload over on my Twitter, and I'll probably pin a comment down below later as well. I'll be streaming live here in the morning with the launch of Reloaded as of tomorrow morning, breaking down the brand new patch notes and all the new content releases for every single game mode. But jumping into Season 2, this is a bit of a light video talking about what is known so far since I'm sure once we do get the release of Reloaded there'll be plenty of brand new leaks and probably even new information that gets teased by Call of Duty which I'll then follow up in a separate video but as of right now here's what we do know. So first off in terms of weapons the FN 2000 an absolute classic that was actually featured in Vanguard in the form of the BP 50 has been leaked out as the Anvil B for MW3 who knows what it'll exactly be called when it does officially drop though but a recent blog post image from the Reloaded blog does actually provide us a nice look at the FN 2000 and of course we know about the leaked emblem for this weapon that has been visible over the last couple of months I believe it was visible at COD Next and I think data miners did post an updated version of what that mastery unlock does look like for the weapon we also have the ARX 160 which has been leaked out for a number of weeks now I think it was initially leaked out as a season one weapon for the classified battle pass sector unless that still does release in season one which I doubt that probably is going to be a season two weapon there's even a character icon for scorch that shows the character holding it so that weapon is just around the corner i know even leaked images of the arx and zombies did also pop up i think it was an outline or something for the mystery box that weapon is definitely coming at some point i'm gonna guess both the fn 2000 and the arx are gonna be battle pass weapons unless they drop them in other ways whether it's armory unlocks weekly challenges i'll keep you guys posted there but we also have the sword and a bow which may be tied to a walking dead collab or they'll just end up releasing as new special weapons who knows but the sword sounds like a lot of fun, and who knows how they'll end up dropping that one. But when it comes to the bow, obviously I know we already have a bow inside of MW3, thanks to Carry Forward from MW2. Could be a different type of bow, though, because there's kind of three different bows they could possibly drop in Call of Duty. And as of right now, we only have a crossbow, so let's see if we end up getting a traditional bow and arrow or something different from the one we already have in-game. And in terms of when they'll end up dropping these, since they've been leaked for a minute, I'm gonna guess they're dropping in Season 2. But hey, they could even be saved for a future title update that we don't know about yet we also know about several different camels that did leak out which are probably going to be tied to various events or other types of bonuses that have yet to be announced these camels do include blue abyssal windfall hard target neon royal forest gloom blue tiki velvet and even duck tile plates now these camels do look pretty damn sharp and i'm impressed with how many have already leaked out i'm just surprised they're already in the game's files i'm gonna guess these are gonna be spread out over the next season or two possibly longer because we typically get around what like two to four different challenge events throughout the duration of a single season but if we end up getting a licensed event like we just saw with dune like we just saw with the boys then typically they have camels or blueprints themed all around that property and these camels aren't themed to any specific property so these are probably going to be saved for weekly challenge rewards and other challenge events that we'll end up seeing over the next couple of months but still cool nonetheless that they have these planned out just something extra to grind for throughout the duration of a new season but here's where things get interesting, right? There are some operators that already leaked out for Season 2 and beyond, and one of them is, I think, one that we all expected, but Call of Duty themselves also went ahead and teased, and that's Laswell. So Kate Laswell from the campaign, thank God she didn't die, has been somebody that's been rumored to be a playable operator for quite some time now, and for whatever reason, the other day, Call of Duty posted something on Threads. I know, you guys probably aren't even aware of what Threads is. It's a Twitter alternative that Instagram actually owns. I don't really use it much, and I wasn't even aware that Call of Duty posts any type of media on there they posted an image of what looks like a funny friends list showing people playing as go so price and even laswell and the person playing as laswell clearly has an icon that we've never seen before and that's what laswell's icon will look like when you actually select her to play as in game so they already revealed that laswell will be a playable character which is pretty damn cool on top of other leaked images confirming that she will end up being somebody you can select in any game mode at some point in the future but with that it's also rumored that we're going to be able to play 
play as Melina Romanoff, who was a character that we did see in the campaign as well. She was initially revealed in the Vondel Season 4 cinematic last year, and then was revealed to be working with Makarov in MW3's campaign again. Wasn't really sure where they were going with her narrative, but she'll end up being playable at some point soon, so we'll just have to wait and see if that is for Season 2 or not. Gonna guess that Laswell is a Season 2 Battle Pass operator, unless she's not, and it's somebody else entirely, but Melina may also be in the Battle Pass unless they end up doing what Cold War did, which is release various bundles throughout the duration of a season that also contain new characters that we hadn't played as before. There's other leaked operators as well that are pretty interesting. One of them is this Prison Break type of character that... I'm sure it could be tied to Season 2 if he leaked this early. Maybe he's not, though. But it's interesting-looking skin that I believe was also featured in some promo material for Season 1 and Season 1 Reloaded. So, another skin that's just around the corner. Oftentimes, Call of Duty does reveal various content through promo material that has yet to be announced, but they throw a bit of a tease into various blog posts and some of their tweets. There's even the Hawk Soap skin, which was supposed to be the reward for Faction Showdown in Season 5 of Modern Warfare 2, but Shadow Company ended up winning that event, not Task Force 141. So, we never ended up getting the hawk soap skin or the i think it was the polished animated camo that also came with that event so the hawk soap skin apparently did transfer over into mw3 data miners forced them into the game so maybe they're also planning on dropping him at some point and it's also some other leaked operators that are unnamed who look a little unfinished but could be tied to either the season 2 battle pass or again various bundles that release in season 2 or beyond but yeah various skins have already surfaced for what is going to be another title update in mw3 MW3. And don't forget about Rick and Michonne, which also leaked out. Apparently, their exact names were data mined, so we'll have to wait and see if the Walking Dead collab is going to happen in Season 2, or if it's something that was planned and isn't going to happen at all. I'll have to keep you guys posted with that one. But what's also exciting is that when it comes to the multiplayer side of things, it was already mentioned that three original maps are going to be dropping in the second season, similar to Season 1, right? Season 1 provided us with Greece, Meat, and now Rio. Season 2 will be exactly the same in terms of providing three original maps that are not derived from any classic experience, a Warzone point of interest. Hopefully every season does this. I'm totally happy with them just focusing on new maps for every season moving forward. They may be dropping a remaster or a section for Ground War or Gunfight later on with Reloaded, whenever they want to do that. I'm totally cool with it, but once we learn more information about the three original maps, I will make a follow-up video to this one. But speaking of maps, it's also a question mark if Fortune's Keep, the resurgence map that didn't last that long in Warzone 1, is going to be dropping and returning in MW3 Season 2. They did mention that Fortune's Keep is an early 2024 drop, while Rebirth will be a mid-2024 drop. So I think early 2024 definitely leads up into, what, March? So I'm going to say by Season 2 or Season 2 Reloaded, we should end up seeing the return of Fortune's Keep over in Warzone Resurgence. I doubt they'll wait any longer to go ahead and do that. Then again, they have to make the map from the ground up, if I'm not mistaken, for the new engine and whatnot. So I'm not sure how much time it's exactly going to take to bring this map back into the light. I'm excited for it, though. It played very well in Warzone 1, and I'm excited to see how it plays with the MW3 movement integration. But then on the zombie side of things, not much is really known, which actually has me excited because hopefully there's plenty of surprises on deck for MWZ, many of which have not even leaked yet because the patch has not released at time of recording this for Season 1 Reloaded. I'm sure a lot will be data mined from that update in regards to Season 2, so beware of any spoilers on Twitter or Reddit. But we do know that Treyarch confirmed that more Act 4 missions are going to be releasing throughout the post-launch. I believe Act 4 is going to be the only act that we see updates for, at least for Urzikstan. If any new zombie maps are released, like for example a Zombified Fortress Keeper Rebirth, maybe that's when we'll end up seeing an Act 5 or an Act 6, but right now it looks like Act 4 is going to be getting more updates, possibly more story missions throughout 2024. We know a schematic did leak out for the Bloodburner, the Ether Bike inside of MWZ, and also some other Warlords did leak out, which I'm going to guess they only drop one per season. I don't think they're going to drop more than one Warlord in a single season, unless it's a cool update where in the Dark Ether or somewhere on Urzikstan, you get multiple Warlords Warlords working together, that would be pretty damn cool, but like people probably have said already, and like you guys have probably said, Warlords or Fortress updates feel more like DMZ content, not actual new zombie content, since there aren't really any zombies in the Fortress or near a Warlord, so that's something that's so extra that it could be saved for any other time and should be paired with some actual good zombie updates. But when it comes to the Warzone front, not much is known either about what could be coming to the Warzone Urzikstan experience throughout 2024. Hopefully more map updates, hopefully more LTM, but even other maps entirely, which we know already are going to include Fortune's Keep and even Rebirth later on. But it's unclear what exactly they'll be adding to the current Warzone Urzikstan experience, considering it's in a pretty good place right now. And they spent all of last year during MW2 cycle kind of bringing Warzone 2 back up to speed with all the features and quality of life improvements that Warzone
2001 already had over the course of three years of support so now that they're kind of caught up on all that i'm wondering what they're going to end up adding but for those that are wondering what's going on with warzone ranked it's probably going to be Treyarch that works on it again like they did last year with almazra but in terms of when that drops is currently a question mark i'm gonna say no later than season two should be when that releases considering that multiplayer ranked released earlier than it did last year last year i believe it was a season two drop this year it was coming out with reloaded so considering warzone ranked was season three last year i'm gonna guess this time around it'll probably be early to mid season two that's for urzikstan so that it's probably just gonna end up being a bit of a copy paste of how it was structured for Almazra, but with a couple of tweaks and improvements. Either way, it is just around the corner. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the surprise details that already surfaced for season two of MW3? How are you feeling about Call of Duty revealing Laswell as a playable operator, plus everything else we discussed? Really hope you enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.